Welcome to Crojo Corner. My name is Laura, and today I'm going to show you a brief walkthrough of the Go Crochet Afghan Design Workbook. Now, this book has 50 different motifs and 10 projects. And one thing that I really liked about this book that I thought was really unique is that they made each of the motifs the same size so that they will all fit together no matter which ones you create. So you can mix and match. So I'm just gonna go over some of this book and I'm going to have to cover up the patterns because it is copyrighted. So here is a sample of some of the motifs that you can make that are shown in this book. And then they kind of go over different fiber um, information and things like that and your basic crochet tools and different things like that and how to use the book talking about the instructions and they also give you a stitch glossary and they tell you about how to do a slip stitch and a chain and uh, basic front post uh, double crochets, regular double crochets and cluster stitches. They teach you how to do a popcorn stitch and then they discuss um, how to choose color and how to mix and match the colors, which I think is nice. Color placement, your layouts, and then it also goes over the different methods of joining your uh, motifs. And it also goes over your edges, your borders to your uh, projects. And this shows you how you can lay out your different square motifs into different patterns. Like you can have like a brick layout, a diagonal layout, and then just a regular side-by-side -side layout. Now this is one of the motifs that they have. And they say that it mixes and matches well with these motifs down here at the bottom. And I think that's really neat that they do that. And here's another one right here. And that one fits well with these motifs. And then we have this square over here and this one here. And you can see that they match well with the bottom uh, motifs on each page. Here's two more. I won't show you all 50 of the motifs, but I just wanted to give you an idea of what they look like. Now these are more triangular shaped and as you can see on the bottom that shows you which ones that they coordinate well with. They have a section of hexagons. Look at how beautiful these are. Here is a section of triangles and this is a section of rectangles and here are your hexagons. I'll just show you a couple of these hexagons. Aren't these beautiful? And they coordinate with the ones at the bottom. Here are two more hexagons. Then they have the octagon section. Aren't these gorgeous? I just love these. And here are two more octagons. This one reminds me of a ship wheel for some reason, the raspberry tart. And that is an advanced pattern. And this one over here is an intermediate pattern. I like that they have all different skill levels included in the book. And here are some of the afghans that you could make with the motifs. Aren't these beautiful? This one is called Reflected Sunlight. And this one is called Trillions of Triangles. So it's a lot of triangles just all sewn together. And then here we have Blueberry Pancakes. This one is called Flowers Galore, French Country. Ooh, that's pretty. I really like the three-dimensional look of the flowers. This one is called Brilliant Starburst, which is, that is just gorgeous. This one is called Ocean's Tide. I really love this one. This one is called Spring Octagons. I love that. It just looks like it has a lot of texture. And then this one is called Yours Truly. And in the back of the book, they have yarn weight guidelines and crochet hook conversions, substituting yarns, and then an index. Making motifs is nice because you can, um, you know, carry them with you. They're small and compact. You don't have to bring all of your yarn. You can just you know, wait in the doctor's office and make a few granny squares or octagons or whatever you want to do. And then eventually when you're done, you just stitch them all together and you can mix and match all the different colors. I think this is a great book. I'll go ahead and link it down below in the description box if you're interested in getting a copy for yourself. But I would highly recommend it if you are into this type of project. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And I hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye. If you like diamond painting, make sure you check out my other channel, Diamond Painting with Laura.